Let's put some light. Love and light. Love and light. Yo. Our trusty Okay, sing camera. love and light. Love and love light. light. Love and light. Oh. Love and light. Love and light. Here we go. All right. <laughs> We are ready, we are ready, we are ready. ready because you are our best sign. You are. We love you guys. You're the most devoted and we're devoted to you. Absolutely. We are. We love you. And I'm a Scorpio rising. She so is. So I know you. <laughs> I know you well. Here we go. In the first position, in the position of the overall environment of the month, I know Ava is very, very, very happy to see this card pop up. It is the Ace of Pentacles. Money! And why does she say money? Because if you're learning how to read the tarot with us, there are four suits, and this is the money suit. Pentacles. Look at the card. It looks like a coin, but it is also the card of the physical world, that which is of the material plane. So this is the stuff you can touch, feel, and see. Mm -hmm. And there's new stuff coming into your world mm -hmm. that you can touch, feel, or see. Absolutely. So, yippee. So, again. Ace of Pentacles. If you are looking for a job, you get a job offer. Just, you're looking for a just raise. Just to get right. If you're looking for a raise, you get a raise. But if you're, say, an entrepreneur and you are at the beginning of a business project or a business idea or just an idea to make money this is a wonderful start it's a solid start you have enough cash to get it going so you are um, full of faith in your project and if not that, you are rewarded financially for a new idea, concept, for whatever it is. It's almost like the beginning of, even if you're in a profession, a job, or an entrepreneurial project that's been going on for a while, you still are, new money comes in. Mm -hmm. Money comes in from a new source. And you are very thrilled about it. It's magic money. <laughs> it's magic money. Money out of a cloud. It's like the golden ticket. Willy yes, Wonka's golden ticket. money out of nothing. <laughs> That's right. Where you yes. find, it's like found, well, well, it's, it's money that's handed to you. Handed to you. And it's coming to you. It is manifesting. Yes. So this money is going to manifest one way or the other. And if it's not money, it could mean that there will be some help. Help for you. Offered to you. Offer. Practical help. Practical such help. as somebody helps you build your... Here we go. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Oh. And I think that we should draw another card. Yes, Ava. let's do it right away. Because I can't wait to find out why. Oh, oh your challenge. Well, good. <laughs> okay. Problem solved. <laughs> Can we move on? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Okay, so this card comes up. It's the Five of Pentacles. And what is this card? Well, she knows what I'm going to call this card. All right, go ahead. I call it the Bag Lady card yes. because everybody I know, except for Ava, except for is afraid of becoming destitute and having to like put all their stuff in a shopping cart and live That's in Central Park. That's because I've part. been destitute. <laughs> so, it's not so bad. That's your challenge. Your challenge is fear of being homeless, having to eat your cat's food, or actually maybe, you know, it, it can also mean you have a deep-seated fear of becoming ill. Ill or poor. Or poor, but Not if having you're in enough. poor health, right. this is the card of, and it's also the card of, um, like there's a sense of loss, of being locked out, sort of. Mm -hmm of God's kingdom. Right. <laughs> so you're sort of like the cast out, you're like Peter yeah. Pan. You're Peter Pan looking at the window, in the window at Wendy and her brothers in this idyllic little warm uh, nursery situation and um, you're locked out, okay? You're locked 
out in the cold. So it's, oh, this is so beautiful, isn't it? Well, I said all that to say, you got nothing to worry about. No, because also, as a challenge, it could be that you're challenged to ask for help. Oh yeah, there you go. And what do you have? Ace of Pentacles. Right, there that you go. That is the help. So you have to ask, if you're at a point in your life, somehow, where for ever, whatever reason, in whatever area, you need some help, well, to get out of this mindset. Swallow your pride. Get out of the poverty mindset. Right, swallow your pride and go out and ask for help and help, some, somebody will give you a, a, a helping hand. Yes. And to bring you out of whatever it is you've gotten yourself into. Mm -hmm. Because they're just waiting. They're just waiting. They're there. That's what the church window represents. Mm -hmm. That potential help spiritual and physical help because the church helps both mm -hmm. when they're good churches that is they help you spiritually and they help you physically because both are often necessary mm -hmm. so but this is really so far this is a reading that has to do with like the hierarchy of needs or survival like how right. am i going to survive in this material world but it's it's fear of losing everything mm -hmm. it is yeah and it's like fear of the worst. Like what fear of what's the, the worst. worst thing that could possibly exactly. happen? Exactly. <laughs> what's the worst thing that can possibly happen? And you have to overcome that and you have to either help yourself mm -hmm. or um, elicit other people mm -hmm. to help you. Right. And they will. They will. Well, this could be poverty of spirit too, because we had Ace of Cups last month. Yes. Reversed, and and that sort of that's the hating of the, the world same thing. Yeah, where you feel drained and you don't drained. feel and any don't... love for right some well, aspect of your reality. I have noticed when you see. I, I used to teach on the beach. You know, I a, I taught surfing, but I taught in an area where there were a lot of homeless people. Mm -hmm. A lot of whom were there out of um, circumstances that they hadn't foreseen or they were buffeted around, they were just not prepared for that particular, but there were other people there who were there because of their attitude. Mm -hmm. They hated the world, they never believed they were ever going to get any um, advantage. Mm -hmm. They hated those who were, that they saw, saw around them, who had advantage. And no one wanted to help them yes. because they didn't want to be around that energy. And so they were a self-fulfilling prophecy. Mm -hmm. And the more they stayed in their condition, the more angry they would become, mm -hmm. the more dis. Uh, depressed and and literally aggressive towards others mm -hmm. and it would keep them there right yeah so you have to come out you have to start to believe you have to start to believe in yourself have faith mm -hmm. and have faith that others are going to help you yes because and you're not will. necessarily homeless <laughs> No, no but no. you may want more you may feel it, as if oh. you don't have the home that oh, you yes. should have. Oh yes, I mean a, a, a person living in a three bedroom house could feel impoverished. Or a person in a you know, 12, 15 bedroom mansion can feel impoverished. Exactly, because you don't have a 25 bedroom right. mansion. So it's all relative. Yes, exactly. Right. Let's see. Oh, look at that. <laughs> wow, okay. Well. So there is a big message that we need to share with you this month, Scorpio, right. and it's all about your material, physical world. Your well-being, yes. And your well-being and your sense of security and stability. Um, and I guess Spirit is really here to reassure you um, this month because up comes the Ten of Pentacles in the position of the unexpected. So not only is the universe ready to hand you the assistance, be it financial or practical, that you need, but it looks as if 
there's an organization, your perhaps your family, perhaps um, your neighbors um, are also just waiting to help you right. and welcome you. Mm -hmm. And um, there, this is kind of like the big security net, right? That people always encourage. And you are feeling totally protected materially, safe, secure, with abundance. This is the Ten of Pentacles. You can't get any higher in the Pentacles than the Ten of Pentacles. Yes. So you achieve, you cross the finish line. Mm -hmm. But it's also about the next generation too. So there may be another generation that will come after you which will maybe, you know, they always say we're not doing as well as our parents did, mm -hmm. but this is the opposite. This would be your children doing even better than you, you do. And maybe it's draining you financially. Could but be. But also, also unexpectedly, you might have family coming into the home mm -hmm. unexpectedly yes. as well. So just in case, mm -hmm. that might be sort of like having to take care of mom. Mm -hmm. And there's a concern over that. It and there's a concern over yeah. that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it could. And where do you get the money for that? Where do you get the money exactly? Well, you get it right here. You get it by faith, yeah. and by asking. Yes, by turning on the money tap. That's right. Let's <laughs> see how it ends. Look at that. Oh my gosh! Wow. Okay, so last month that's kind of interesting because we, I keep coming back to that Ace of Cups reversed. So here we have the lovers, and it is in the last position, and it is Major Arcana. And this card is always about decisions. It's kind of a confusing card because yes, the first time bit. you see it, you always think it's about sex. Yes. <laughs> Getting it on with the perfect man or female mm -hmm. or whatever. But it's really not about that. It's about evaluating your choices and it's kind of like that fork in the road. Mm -hmm. um, and sort of, um, you know, someone is mirroring you. Mm -hmm. That is one interpretation. But, or you may also be looking at sort of the male and female aspects of the situation and, mm -hmm. and that would be like, you know, are you, are you going to be the, the nurturer or are you going to become more of the male aspect, which mm -hmm. is the aggressor? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, that seems to me sort of like the, um, uh, the solution to the situation, mm -hmm. like making that decision how to approach it. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Yes. It, it, it could be a new relationship, by the way. It could also be could that. Always. And I always read for love and she reads and for know, single but, people. But because she didn't, I thought I'd mention it. <laughs> but there's a beautiful bright sun right above and an angel. Yes. So you're protected. Yes. The relationship is also blessed. It could be that, and you're mesmerized by the relationship. And you're mesmerized by the relationship, but there is something very passionate going on as well. But at the end of the month, you are in a, uh, you know when you first fall in love, that state of mind, when yeah. you first fall in love. Well, it's a lot, a lot of it has to do with sex. It might. People are like bunny rabbits when they first get together. They are, but but you notice that the woman is looking up at the angel and the man is looking down at her. Mm -hmm. So the woman sees this as a spiritual union and the man sees it as a sexual, physical, physical union. And so it is the dichotomy of that. Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it, is it only physical? And is it spiritual enough? Well, why is this popping up in the middle of all Well, this? it could just be that that's an element mm -hmm. at the end of the month that becomes central to the theme. Mm -hmm. In other words, the lover becomes a part of the scenario right. going on. Okay. And an important aspect of that, maybe a new relationship that is... You're making the de decision. You're making the decision about right. whether that family or team, um, whether to incorporate that into the family or the team, or mm -hmm. to bring that, somehow bringing that into this um, entire 
uh, story that's unfolding. Yeah, it's like that investigation of uh, the possibilities of the situation mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where you're sort of checking them out mm -hmm. and making the big decision. Making but it big. is the soulmate card too. It is. I and mean, so that's the big... Maybe there's a realization of a soulmate. Mm -hmm. So that's it. That's it. We have got nothing more to say. I got nothing more. Nothing more. I got nothing more to, to say about Scorpio. That. Are you kidding me? I'm a Scorpio. Can we talk about this real quick? Oh, all right. Yes. Okay. I so thought, we have this I pentacle so. card, and she was gonna say, okay, now this is oh off yes, the cuff. I was we've already say. done the reading, but she was gonna say something about the fence. Yes. It's a rose bush. Or it's a bush. In the Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Okay, so There's a fence. And the fence has an opening. Yes. All right? And it took a while to grow that fence. Yes. And this represents your opening. Ah. Suddenly you see an opening. Suddenly you realize where your opportunity is. And you go through it. And Okay, but I thought we were going to do the Fix My Fence for free. We're not doing Fix My Fence for free because I can't say it. <laughs> my tongue is very tired right now. Because there's the fence and he's offering practical help. So this is now considered the Fix My Fence for Free card. Fix My Fence for Free. And so if you can say Fix My Fence Driving for Free 15 help. times. <laughs> on your, on, be a video on your smartphone. Please send that to us. It's got to be 15 times Fix My Fence for Free you will win a free burning question. That said, please click the link below, too much brevity, if you would like a counsel card, hire spiritual counsel on this four card spread. Yes. Click the link below. And if you would like a personal or private reading. Yes. Go ahead. Then. <laughs> Simply go to virtualturo.wordpress.com, peruse the readings, pick the one that's appropriate for you, email us at abatrudy at yahoo.com, and I, or Trudy, shall give you the uh, most spectacular reading from spirit, from your spirit guide. I was saying before that often I can feel them with me, giving me proper counsel for you because I don't know you and they know you very well so they interpret it for me and hopefully I have the vocabulary to express it properly and that's what the whole reading is about and we are having a contest so if you would do us a favor all of you folk out there who've already had and benefited from personal and private readings from Ava or myself you would give us a testimonial video. We have quite a few emails and we thank you for those. However, we would love a testimonial video that we will post on our site. Record one with your smartphone. Do not take too much time because we would like for you to upload it to uh, avatrudy at yahoo.com. We'll put your name in a hat and somebody's gonna win a deep meaning love reading. You'll love that. Yes, your chances are probably going to be good. Awesome. <laughs> There are probably not going to be millions of people doing this. Yes. So uh, your chances are pretty good. Yes. Statistically. So there you go. Thanks for showing up. We have completed, concluded, and also enjoyed. We have. Reading for you, Scorpio. Yes. And we will see you in the month of June. We're going underwater next month. We are. All readings underwater next month. Bye. Bye. See if anybody can copy that. Yeah. <laughs>